Hey, so I'm back again. Mild update on what Burris is doing. He's getting a treat. Mild update on what 16 and I am doing. All right, you want your treat? And uh, as always, potential trigger warning. Are you happy now? <laughs> um, there's more information always in the description box. First paragraph is always the pre-cut sample paste thing that I put. And then there's also the um, additional stuff. Whatever it is that I need to say based off of whatever I've said here. Um, <laughs> at least he's getting me laughing. Uh, it would be deeply appreciated if you liked, you shared, you did something to help kind of engage, push this thing through somehow. Um, the last video I made, I know all of my videos, they're all over the place. There's no structure. There's no format. I can't do it. Um, I need engagement. I can only stay focused if I have someone to engage with. And I just, <laughs> it's a screen. <laughs> I don't have anyone to engage with and I don't have enough people so I can't do lives sorry um so yeah the last video was like 30 something minutes long because of the weather in October and then the first half of November um that video took three hours to upload and ate four gigabytes of data to try and upload so that was fun um yeah that was that was that was not a lot of fun at all um it we ran out of data just as we were switching over to the next day uh, for November. So that, that had um, 16 on, on edge because he runs out, he gets his new data on the 10th. He usually runs out of his data by the 20th because um, he's only got like 20 gigabytes of data. And um, so he has to share mine. And we both need it for whatever coping mechanisms that we have. And how do you people deal with this ring light BS? How? How do you, how do you deal with it? It's like, I have glasses. You see it in the glasses. I do not like it. It hurts my eyes. How do you people deal with this? I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, it was like $5.99. Granted, you know, it's wired. So you have to plug it into either um, base plug-in thing or you know plug it into one of these bricks but you know it, it can do colors and stuff yeah i can be colorful Woo! and i can go faster and i can go slower and i can change back to that um i can do other things too i'm lazy but it's, it's just like even in the lower setting how do you people deal with this i don't get it um do you not have sense of eyes or something i, I don't get it but you know, it's five ninety nine, and it's actually quite cool because it's got like a big, massive paper clip, and then a pivoting ball thing that you can change and stuff. And you can actually detach it completely, um, the ring part. And then I could actually put my camera on it and take some decent pictures. But anyway, I don't, I don't know. It's giving me a headache. How do you people deal with it? How do content creators deal with any of this crap? I don't get it. I don't know. I'm just me. I'm here. But, you know, on the good side, my, my skull is, or all my skulls, it's getting light, so at some point it's going to glow in the dark. Because I'm bored. Um, right, focus. I am so tired. My head hurts. The pressure's coming through again. There's more storms happening. Mm. But... So if I don't look up at the camera, sorry, it's the light. Um, not that I ever know where to look at the camera anyway. But yeah, um, today, well, let's see. Yeah, today's the 30th of November. I'm not wearing my thing. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Are we still the 30th? Oh, yeah, we got an hour until it's the 1st. It's 30th of November. Um most of November has been nothing but just depression, non-stop depression, which is no fun. And, um, I mean, I did make a project. It may not look as pretty as it does in person, but it's a little flower. Handheld thing. 
got lots of significant points. Um, showed it to my friend, uh, my blue-haired warrior, and she's like, I like that. Can I have that? And I'm like, no, sweetie, let me make one just for you. So this was like a practice kind of thing. No idea what it was going to be. Originally, it was not going to be a flower, that's for sure. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to whap somebody with it. It's not a toy. You cannot have. Here, you want another treat? This is why we can't live in an apartment. <laughs> I can't. Um, but, yeah, so I started making hers, and that kind of helps. Kind of. And it's completely different. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just creating because I am bored out of my skull and I'm depressed. And at the moment, I'm kind of hyper and in pain. And the light is bothering me. Um, today was kind of okay. And we had a milestone with um, 16, which is cool. He has downgraded his desire to consciously go after his father and do horrible horrendous things to him eventually leading in his you know demise which is good he's, he's downgraded it he's de-escalated it to only wanting to permanently maim him now whether he can continue to have that idea in his head and follow through with actions of de-escalation when he goes into a crisis mode no idea but on the conscious level, he is choosing to de-escalate it. So that's that's progress. And he randomly came up to me and was like, yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. No, I'm just going to do this, that, and the other thing. Both are equally disturbing. But at least he feels comfortable coming to me and being able to say this. And I get where he's coming from. I understand the pain he's going through. I understand the trauma he's processing through. I get it. I don't agree with it, but I get it. And it's really difficult to detach from the whole mom mode. Um, but then again, I haven't really been mom for a long time. I've always been caretaker. I've always been the balancer. I've always been the one cleaning up the mess that everybody else makes. So I haven't been mom in a long time. And uh, I'm more like roommate therapist or behavioral therapist, or whatever. Um, I'm cook. I'm clean. I'm this, that, and the other thing. I am so many roles. Whatever role needs to be done, I do it. I don't have a personality anymore. I don't really have an identity anymore. And that's predominantly because I have no friends to help me create and figure out who I am and what I'm allowed to be. Because it's kind of hard to... to do anything when you're in solitary confinement, which this house is. And if I showed you what my my living situation is like, you'd be horrified. Um, but you know, hey, on on the plus side, he de-escalated. So that's it's a relief. I don't know how long that'll stay. It depends entirely on how his moods are doing and if he gets triggered and. I'm tempted to just shave my head. My French already think I look insane anyway, so why not? I'm just, I'm just so done. I'm so bored. I need stimulation. I need something. I need community. I need people. But yay. At least he de-escalated. Because the de-escalation helps because then it's like, okay, yes, I still have to be on eggshells all the time, paying attention to what my moods are, how I might trigger him, how the situation, any part of the situation, how the dog might trigger him, what I have to do to calm the situation, what I have to do to keep it from getting worse, what I have to do to protect myself, because I'm at risk too. And, um, <sighs> really now, you okay? No, I'm not going to give you another treat. Oh God, no, 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 no.
No, what are you doing? What do you want? All right, you want up? You want up? No? Yeah, you know there's one last treat. Where is it? It's over there. Oh, you gotta wait. Um, so yeah. I am easily distracted right now. Nothing is holding my attention. I don't have enough stimulation on my phone or I, I don't, what are you doing? You are being so good right now. You have food right there. You have food right there. C'est quoi ça? C'est quoi ça? Mange ça. C'est quoi ça? No? Um, I'm easily distracted. I can't read any of my books. Too much risk of getting sick. I'm probably gonna have to throw out most of my books anyway. Risk of mold. Um, more and more mold keeps developing every day, which keeps me sick because I'm vastly allergic to mold and I can't get rid of any of it because I can't get rid of this stuff because I can't haul it to the dump. <laughs> it's <just> like, <laughs> I am stuck in hell. I don't hate it. But I have a pretty garden, you know, which is covered in mud and it's cold. And if I fall and I hurt myself, I'm screwed because I'm the one taking care of everything. And I just, I, I'm so tired. And I'm just so tired. So I guess I'm just going to try treating these videos like journal entries at this point, unless I actually have something important to say. Um, I'm trying my best to process through everything that I feel and figure out, is it me? Is it someone else? Is it this? Is it that? What is it? Why is it? How is it? Is it just a seasonal thing because there's less light because of the holidays? I would like to actually enjoy the holidays for once. No guarantee with that. She still hasn't given me my money. Two months. Two months. She still hasn't given it. And it's like... We're barely surviving with the food we've got. And the money that we get. My other son is barely surviving with the food that he has. And the money he can't get. Because he's having a hard time finding a job. His phone broke. He had to replace that. She still hasn't paid off a lot of his debts. He's getting more debts because of the ones that she should have paid. While he was under my house. While he was under my care. While she was helping to take care of any bills that I have. Yeah, she didn't pay, so that's gone from like 11 something to 70 something. Fun, because of late fees. And it's just like, she keeps pushing us to eat more and more of my money because she won't do her job. So it's like, yay. Being poor sucks. And it doesn't have to be this way. In general, yes, it doesn't have to be this way. Me specifically, it doesn't have to be this way. I could easily get a job elsewhere. I start any project here, can't follow through on it. I have to focus on getting us out of here. I have to focus on rebuilding my self-worth, on rebuilding my confidence, on rebuilding all of the managerial skills I used to have so that I can focus and write out the things that I need to do in a lucid way, in a laconic way that you know, summarizes things and is organized so people will take me seriously and get us the help that we need, that we're being violated. Our, our human rights, our legal rights are being violated every turn, every step of the way. I'm being set up to fail because they keep traumatizing me, they keep abusing me, they keep giving me ignorance. You're adorable. Okay, fine, I have a teacher. There. No more treats. He can't bug me. He's not allowed. <laughs> He'll try. He'll still try to find a way. <sighs> I am bored. Fuck. You have no idea what it's like. This kind of level of boredom. P 
people, very few people really understand this level of boredom. I have maxed it out as much as I can, trying to learn as much as I can, trying to use this as an opportunity to learn, teaching my son how to use this as a, an opportunity to understand himself, to, to figure out, you know, who he is as a person, what he would like, what he would like to fill his time with if he had the opportunity, where, where his interests lie, uh, all kinds of stuff. Boredom can be wonderful. It can be a beautiful tool for healing and for self-reflection and growth and and then there's overkill it's just too much <laughs> I just want to go home I don't even know where home is I just want to go home I'm lonely. I'm lonely at a soul level. I'm lonely on a level that most people don't learn, that shouldn't have to learn. I'm lonely for experiences. I'm lonely for stimulation. I'm lonely for connection. I'm lonely for communication. And I need it. Because my brain is fried. And if I don't get enough stimulation, my brain tries to shut down and I can't afford getting dementia. I already have too much amnesia. And there's so many people, I just took Facebook off my phone because I just can't deal with it. But I look at the people on my list and it's like, so many of them, I don't know who they are. I remember having feelings for them. I remember feelings associated with memories, but I don't have the memories. And for the longest time, people kept tossing off that mem, you know. If I woke up one day with amnesia, what would you do to remind me of who you are to me? Of who I am to me? What would you do to help, remember, help me remember? You know, and people, like, they'll, they'll, you know, take that mem seriously in the comments and they'll go, Yes, I would do this, that, and the other thing. Or they'll take that mem and they won't say anything on your post, but they'll go share it on theirs and look for advice, you know, and see what other people say about them. And here I am. And I've got brain damage. And I'm telling people what I need from them. Why? And, and, and it's just no. It's just no. And it's just... I am lonely for people on a soul level because I've been abandoned and it's like I get I get the fear of abandonment I get the fear of being judged because I used to walk around and be worried you know what people would think of me and if I was being judged or not and blah 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 it wasn't until I moved to France where I gave that up completely because I recognized oh it's not a fear it's an actuality So I know what it's like to have these irrational fears instilled in you through trauma and, and wounding and, and society and stuff like that. I understand those fears that control you. But I also recognize now <laughs> when something really is true versus, you know, people are too busy judging themselves or worrying about being judged than they are judging others. Okay, fine. I mean, obviously, I put my face out here, you know, you're going to judge, or you have the risk of judging. Fine, cool. I'm putting myself out there. I get it. Um, but it's like, so many people have this fear of abandonment, so they cling to others when they don't need to, when they've outgrown people that are toxic for them, or just can't give to them the way they need. I have no fear of being abandoned because I've already been abandoned. So much of my family has abandoned me. So many of my friends. I was abandoned by my partner who I still think I'm actually legally married to because of how we were divorced. Duress is real. When you, when you have to sign documents that, that you have to legally state, lui est approuvé. 
read and approved. But you can't read it. And they don't really, you know, help you to read it. And they don't translate it. And you're in the middle of a panic attack. And you'd sign anything just to get out of the room away from the person who did the damage that caused your stroke. Yeah, duress. And then being kept in duress so you can't legally fight anything. And then being kept in duress and put more stress and trauma from anyone who's supposed to help you is hard. So yeah, I've been abandoned by him in a different country, in a country he knew. He knew and said to my face, you can't even get a job here. <laughs> What friends? You don't have any friends here. Literally, his attitude. I was like, great, thanks. So you just brought us here, screwed us over, and then just abandoned us. Take two of my kids, destroy their childhood, all three of them, but destroy them. Pushing each one of us to suicide. Narrowly escaping each of us. Pushing the others to homicide, which so far has escaped, which is good. We've made it through. We've made it this far, but it's like, so there's that abandonment, abandoned by the embassy, abandoned by friends, abandoned by so, by basically all of society. So yeah. I got the merit badges for abandonment. I don't have to fear that anymore. I know what it's like, and I've survived this far. But it's lonely. And, and I need stimulation from others. I need engagement from others. Because it helps me heal. It helps me to rebuild who I am. Everything that everyone has been trying to tear down and tear out of me. It helps me to keep fighting. It helps me to be able to find the ability to organize. It helps me to find the old skills of who I used to be. <laughs> and trying to incorporate that into who I am now so that I can rebuild myself. And um, it's hard to do on my own. And I keep getting expected to do it on my own. Which is why this keeps dragging out longer and longer, because they keep piling more abuse. I keep getting rejected by people who are supposed to help, or have the potential to help, or just outright ignored. And I have no support group. And so it just takes forever. <clears throat> so it's a good thing that he escalated his desires of what he's saying that he wants to do to his father. And he still can't go to the supermarket because it's too much of a risk. He might hurt somebody. And, um, it's just, I need help. I need community. And I don't know where to look for that. Because I keep getting rejected. And I have no fear of rejection. I have no fear of wasting my time. Because it's all lessons that I get to learn and process through. And figure out what to do better next time. I'm just tired. I'm just so tired. And I'm lonely. And I don't... I um, saw a thing earlier. And it was another one of those... You know, you gotta fill your own cup kind of thing. And um, it's like, if this is my cup of love, and technically it is because it was given by a very dear friend, but if this is my cup of love, you can't pour from an empty cup, right? I, I did give an example, but it's not exactly empty. It's rather full of tea that much. But, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. And so, you gotta, you know, 
fill your cup. So you got to fill your cup. Now it helps when other people fill your cup with their love, their attention, their time, their effort, their energy. But in general, you got to fill your cup. So that, that way you can pour it out to others. That way you have something to give because you're constantly refilling it. You're constantly giving of yourself, making yourself happy, which is cool. The problem becomes when you have so many situations where your cup is getting just shredded and there's holes everywhere and it's just no matter how much you fill it with, it just keeps leaking out. So you can't repair the damage because other people did it. And you just, you keep trying to find exterior things. You keep trying to find temporary things because you're just denied the things that you need to actually repair it, to actually heal so that you can fill your own cup. That you can have your own happiness. You can create your own happiness. But if they just keep shredding it or there's no one to come in and just help heal it, you just keep leaking out. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just leaking out. I need community. I don't know. I don't, I don't have it. And, um, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing the same thing every day. I'm tired of the boredom. I'm tired of Groundhog Day Purgatory. And I don't have a choice. I have to keep going. I'm not allowed to give up. And there's no real comfort in that. No bless me. So yeah. I'd rather be doing other things than crying on camera. I just don't even know what I want to do. Because I don't even know what I like. I've had my life stolen and I've watched and tried to fight as he stole our lives, all of them. Stole their childhood. Stole their adolescence. And damaging their future. And I'm tired. I'm tired of fighting. And I'm not allowed to stop. So, yeah. Congratulations if you made it to the end. I got nothing else to say. I just keep rambling on the same thing because I'm tired and I'm trapped in a loop. But, um, thanks for listening this far. Um, maybe I'll be less crying next time. Maybe I'll actually have a reason to smile and laugh and have fun and not be sarcastic and just wanting to shave my entire head. I need community. So, yeah. If you got questions, if you got suggestions, if you've got... If you've got problems, write them in. I'll answer them. I'm not saying, you know, take my advice on anything. I'm not saying I'm trained or qualified for anything. You got problems? I got nothing else to do. I'm bored to my soul and I'm lonely so yeah hi I'm Shala <laughs> do everything in your power to make the world a better place don't end like that don't end up like me don't put other people through stuff like this right I'm going to sleep. I just can't deal with this anymore. So, good night.